Hello everyone, this is Viewful Yoshi, and we're back with more Dragon Quest VIII. In the last episode, we spent a lot of time just, like, flying around the world and trying to find secret areas and stuff. Which we did, and now... Um, we're at the town of Neos, that's right. Um, we already have a gold rose for here, actually. So, I'm just, like, looking around and seeing if we can get any cool stuff, or... Equipment or pretty much anything really. Uh, this stuff all looks outdated though. Maybe we could we maybe we could have came to Al and Neos a lot earlier than this. Who knows? Man, what the devil is this? Sorry, I'm not telling fortunes at the moment, or should I say I can't tell them. Whenever I look to my crystal ball, all I see are dark silhouettes. I can't see anything else at all. Huh. Okay, so this is the bench shop. Are they, uh, all outdated, too? Actually, it kind of looks like it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Light shield. Should we buy it? Uh, it's only five different, so... I'm not sure why we can't find a better shield for Jessica. Uh, hmm, who knows. I'm sure we'll find something sooner rather than later. I mean, I guess we could buy that one, but it's only five defense. That's really not worth much of an increase if we're... Well, how can we just have all this free stuff back here? I don't even need a key. Let me see a skill. Okay. Move it. Bulb. Piece of spicy cheese, okay. I should really should be using cheese more often, but I just keep forgetting to. Almost looks like there's something supposed to be back here. Maybe we're supposed to come back at night or something. Just a storage place too, maybe? Who knows? Oh well. We've got a few things back here. And if, what is this a church? Looks like it. Actually, why don't we? This place is not a church by the looks of it. Hmm. Well, let's check out the inn first. Well, maybe not first, but just, what's this? Is this the watchtower? I don't know. I do know at some point we heard the word Neos before, but I can't remember what. Ah, oh, here to see the goddess, are you? If you top of the tower, see the goddess. What? So Impura isn't the goddess? And you can actually see the goddess in this game? What? Oh, maybe he just means the statue? Uh, who knows? Huh. Weird. Oh, what a very odd town. He did something we probably could have done earlier. Huh. So then I guess there's no harm in doing, doing it right now. Huh, alright. That's a lot of stairs. Hmm. Yeah, so how you guys doing? Um, like I said before, actually I just kind of... Oh, oh that's... Oh, this is a different place entirely. Huh. Different place entirely from the other cave Uh, just have, sort of in be break, break between studying for finals and stuff. What's this? Yeah, that's unfortunate. Especially for one who carried the blood of the great sages. Please... Oh, please protect... How can we get your own little cave here? Why are you so special, NPC? I don't get my own cave. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, um... So, yeah. Uh... Whoa. Have we seen an NPC look, that looked like you before? I can't remember. If you become a Templar, you're above the law, apparently. Doesn't matter what country you're in, you don't have to obey the rules, you can do whatever you please. After all, guys, it's far more important than any king or queen. Sounds pretty good to me. Well, yes. Uh, <laughs> hmm. I don't think I'll make a comment about that. I think I'm just gonna let that one sit with everyone. <laughs> okay. Um. What? Babe, what a weird town. Pum pumpkin, cool, cool. Come on, try making it sound like a pigeon. 
talking to someone? Huh. Don't mind me, just taking your stuff. I don't really need to take all your supplies, I, I just want any mini mails you have, really. And if you'd be so kind. Come here, we just are kind of nice, too. But when zoom is only 1 MP, it doesn't matter. Really. Now then, what should I do for dinner tonight? Pumpkin soup. Good God, it's no, I most really am not going to make it. Oh, pumpkin's a dog. I see. I'm talking about... <laughs> yes, we... No, please, yes. I didn't imply that you were going to eat dog. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if I would ever eat dog. I mean, they're actually pretty smart, so... Hmm. We'll just go all the way back to the air mythology. Even. Nameless rock in the sea. After God birds save the world, lone monk visit here. So clearly to find... <laughs> Sorry, that just reminds me of all the stories of people finding, like, the images of specific, you know, religious figures from, like, toast and stuff. statue. Hmm. Eh, that's very debatable, but I'm not gonna argue with you about it, good sir. Origins of God's origins of God statue and holy blah blah blah, try back to the day blah blah blah. Was really possible to carve such an elaborate statue using ancient technology? Oh no, this is gonna be another alien series with the pyramids and stuff, is it? Or is it a creation? Or is its creation a miracle? The divine and all-powerful God and stuff? Well, then she'd be pretty vain if she carved an entire mountain into her likeness. Unless we will probably never know. He's smiling. Uh. Fail it. Scholar specs. Well, let's check those out. Scholar spec makes the wearer appear more intelligent. Goody. Oh, this, oh, this increased wisdom. Uh, what's her occurrence? Oh, Ruby Protection. Uh, agility. Um, that's the defense one. Yeah, we don't want scholar specs. Okay. That might have been useful earlier, but not now. We managed, we managed to get this far without it. We can continue doing so. You filthy pigeons, I'll make a bite. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, nothing up here. All well, besides this NPC. Uh, okay, then. <clears throat> kind of reminds, this actually kind of reminds me a lot of, um, uh, All, Trade, All Trades Abbey from Dragon Quest IX. Sort of an island in the middle of nowhere, but, uh, you can tr tr uh, change your, um, your class, um, at that place. And I highly doubt that's available in this game. I think with, you're stuck with what you got, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Cuckoo! There, you see pigeons. <laughs> right. Uh, these puns are getting lazier and lazier, in my opinion. Um. Yeah, what was this? Oh, yeah. Actually, I'm, I'm not sure what I like better. I mean, it was nice to customize your own character in Quest 9, but I do like that, uh, you can, um. That the, you know, the characters actually are a part of the story in this one. I mean, you had the main character in Quest 9, which was sort of like an Angel Fallen Earth story, but, uh. Your other three characters, they were either your friends that you brought online, or uh, just um, <laughs> these no names, basically, that you could either just, I don't know, they were kind of pointless, really. No dialogue, no nothing. We've had orders to start clearing out our things. Oh jeez, the Templars are going kind of crazy, aren't they? Maybe we could have saw Marcello here earlier. Hmm, weird. Okay, what was trying to say? What was I trying to say? Uh, okay, probably just gonna play by Marcello. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. It's like, I guess you can create your own story in Dragon Quest Nine. Like you can just think of a, just think of line stuff for your character, which is kind of nice. But at the same time, it's nice to have written dialogue for all four characters, like in this game. But then again, I guess me, me and Otaku talked about this a while ago, about RPGs. Because I think Otaku said he liked Tales of Symphonius so much, um, partly because uh, it's a multiplayer RPG. You don't really see any of those, besides, you know, MMOs, which really are an entirely, entirely different genre. What's all this then, guys? 
Hmm. Oh. The devil. What's in here? Weird. So yeah, I don't know. I mean... I guess I just grew up playing single-player games all the time, so I don't really notice so much. Charms and Amulets, uh, I don't really care. Um, so, I kind of, I don't mind RPGs where, you're, where it's just single-player all the time. I mean, if I wanted to play multiplayer, I would just invite a few friends over, and we can play Mario Party or Mario Kart. I guess me and my friends back in, like, elementary and middle school, we didn't play video games pretty much all that much, so we did have to play games like that. Like, when it was raining and stuff, Mario Kart and Mario Party, and, uh, I'm sure there were others. Occasional Pikmin, too, actually. Uh, that was, those, t t uh, kept us busy for, for quite a while. Um, I even remember playing Halo 4, not Halo 4, this original Halo, a few of my friends, so much. We really didn't need that, mi that many, so it was nice to also have a few games where I could just play by myself. And I, I don't know, did I, I'm not sure how often I said, and there's like nothing in this town. Expecting like a whole whole bunch of mini minerals, but there, there was like nothing. So, I don't know. I really didn't start playing video games until I was like, late middle school, really. Whenever, uh, like the, midway through the GameCube. Whenever Paper Mario 1000 Your Door came out, that was like the first game I really p p got when it like first came out and I started getting more into games. And yet, screw you, and my door closed, jeez. Uh, no nighttime. <laughs> I'm just kind of rambling, talking about my childhood. Um, oh, jeez. That guy... Oh, what is all this? Beyond here, top line is no it's not in cloth. Wait, wait. Idea! How about now, good sir? What? Angelo is a Templar! Come on! Okay, fine. Okay. Yoshi had more defense, so back up to the line up you go. Well, what about you, bud? Faithful shadows dancing in the sky, rumors of a bird of light come to chase him away. What earth's way on the world? Neville, goddess, please enlighten us. Dude, isn't this. It's just like the legend. Why come you haven't noticed that? You'd think a man in the cloth would be up to date with stuff like that. I'm sorry, up to date with a thousand year old legend, right? Okay, so coming here was apparently really pointless. Uh, my sincerest apologies, guys. Did we even get one mini medal here? That's like the sole reason why I. We got two. I think we need three in order to, uh. In order to, um. Get the Miracle Sword. Maybe we should at least go to the inn. Actually, before we do that... Is there anything going on in here now that it's night? Oh, there's people sleeping here. Okay, I get you. I get you, game. Ah, uh, so bloody hell. Um, what else to do? I was kind of excited. Now come you're not going to sleep. Uh, perhaps I should give up. Aw, oh, no, don't. Don't say, don't say that. You never give up. Never give up your dreams. Hmm. I should at least rest in the end. Did we... Did we even sleep at the end? I honestly can't remember. And it's kind of cool you see everyone sleeping in the hammocks during the night, but... At the same time, uh... What would you do if it starts raining, guys? Oh, well, let's rest in the end. I guess, as long as you're okay. 200?! Cancel, I'm zooming on back to Fairberry or something. It was okay in our coots, I guess. Because we were there for plot reasons, but no. No sirree, Bob. Man, this town was a total waste. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> okay, well, let's explore the island more and then I guess end the part off again. I'm so sorry, guys. I was... I mean, just looking at the statue, I'm like, oh, this is so cool. There must be something really cool here. Nope. <laughs> it's just a small town we can't could have visited a long time ago, but just didn't. Okay.
Okay, let's uh, get on our city cat and just explore the little island around here. Let's see if the saber cat can actually come here. I think it can. I think it was only in Imperial Island, whoever, where uh, that was a problem. Oh, actually, let's put Holy Protection back on. Okay. Okay, everything's good. You know. Oh, there's a treasure chest up there. Everything's good. Finally, they're gonna be over soon, and it'll be summer, and hopefully, I'll get a summer job in a little bit, and everything will be peachy keen. Uh, okay. I know that that's not a treasure chest up here. Ah, here we go. Ah, so hopefully, things are going well for you guys. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys. Um, I don't know how to finish that statement. I don't know. I don't really No, Well, anyway, I, whether you're if you're in school or if you're at a job or just hanging out with in your parents' basement, who knows? <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. Let's fail magic water. Okay. Yeah, we're not getting encounters. So that helps getting out all the monsters around here are weak. <laughs> Any monster compared to me is weak, but... Eh, no, not really. Uh... Well, this is... Normally in a game like this, if they force you to walk all the way across an island or something, there's uh, something pretty good to the other side. So, let's cross our fingers. That there's something really cool back here. So far, I'm a little disappointed. I mean, it's one thing to have, like, three minutes of the episode be kind of disappointing, but, like, everything in this episode has been disappointing. The town didn't have good equipment, didn't have very many mini medals, the NPCs weren't really all that funny, and now the island itself doesn't have that many treasure chests by the looks of it. Ugh. You're breaking my heart, game. Oh, hey, kitty cat. What's new, pussycat? Whoa. I don't think that quote really works. Okay, uh... Man alive, there is nothing out here. We are on a rock. Oh, wow. Uh, wait, there is a monster over there. Holy protection. Hopefully, it doesn't disappear going from day to night or whatever. Okay, let's take this guy out. Please give us your monster coin, pal. Okay, let's see what we got here. Grey's Colossus. Okay, uh, psych up, psych up. Angelo, we need to do multi heal. I forgot to heal again. Oh, yeah, because the hand was outrageous in price. I remember that. Mm, excuse me. Hmm. I put that agility ring or whatever on Angelo in hopes that he can go first, but he still see other characters go before him. But as long as he goes before the enemy, I guess, it really doesn't matter. Psych up, psych up. Angelo, you can actually just in case by use room staff. And psych up again. I have no idea whether I should be going all out, all out on this guy or just playing it safe. Oops. I certainly don't. Okay. And what's he doing? 102. Well, that's certainly a lot of damage. Double slash, helm splitter. Maybe we should try some magic just in case. Well, no, actually, we should fully heal the Aegis, I think. Just in case. You never know, he might have a desperate attack or something. And actually, let's use Kafrizzle because this guy looks like he'd be more about physical defense than magic defense. Okay, let's see where this takes us. I don't know, but then getting fire against stone probably isn't all that effective either. 459! Okay, I think I'm glad I used that. that, uh, Angelo took about the same amount of damage as Yengis did. I think Yengis would have higher defense. 
Okay, so... Psych up, psych up. Oh, this guy's doing pretty well. He's, he's standing our assault really dang well. And he has a lot of attack. Definitely probably gonna put him on the team. But, uh... Let's get the angel. He's not... Yeah, angel, I guess. Because he's not psyching up. And it's like a two, Jessica. Come on, Paralyze. <laughs> I laughed so hard at the that ended up taking him out. But he probably doesn't have too much more. He got hit by like 600-ish points of damage so far. So maybe we'll try again after just a level 5 psych. Yeah, Falcon Slash works. You can attack again, especially since his defense should be lowered, right? And just in case you can multi-heal Angelo. And good frizzle, just kind of thinking. You have to stop everyone off, basically. Except for Jessica, she was pretty good to begin with. And... Yep, he's down. Priest Colossus defeated, 226 experience. Silver... Okay, so we now have three silver monster coins. That's not bad at all. 801... Yes, we will. Um, who should we get rid of? I don't want to get rid of King Slime. He hasn't really been contributing at all. And he's just falling behind. As cool as it is to have a King Slime on our team. So... Yeah. <laughs> nice. That looks... Is that actually a reference to something? That sounds familiar. Uh, actually, let's check our monster team real quick. <sighs> Hexil, I really don't want to get rid of you, but... Let's just see here. 316. Even has slightly higher agility. Oh, Hexilla, I'm so sorry. But... For the moment, I think I'm putting Talos in. Yeah, darn. That's a darn shame. Don't worry, Hexilla. If there's if there's ever another chance, I'll put you back on the team. Uh, interesting. Okay, well, guys, I think I'm warping the just bare bare, you know, someplace cheap for the end. I don't know, really cheap. And uh, I think we're going to just move on with the plot finally. And yeah, so well, guys, the next exciting episode of Dragon Quest 8, we'll move on with the plot. I know how many times I said that, but I really can't think of anything else to do unless you challenge the screen again, but I'm thinking, no, we really need to move on with the plot at this point. Okay guys, thank you so very much for watching, and have a great day. Peace out.